Professor Clements with you as again we consider special relativity, chapter 28 of OpenStax College Physics. In this uh, video, talking about length contraction. Length contraction. Moving lengths are shorter than lengths that are at rest with respect to the observer. Here we have a spacecraft, 2.2, 10 to the 8th meters per second. Uh, the spacecraft is built in uh, mass production, so there's an identical spacecraft on the Earth. And uh, before this one would go off into space, it has a length of 55 meters and width of 10 meters. Those are dimensions when we're standing right beside the spacecraft. The spacecraft is at rest. This spacecraft is moving in the same direction as the long dimension of the spacecraft. What will an observer on the Earth measure for the length of this spacecraft that's moving at 2.2 times 10 to the 8th meters per second? Well, we're going to need gamma to do this calculation. The length of the moving object is equal to the length at rest divided by gamma. The length is going to be smaller. Our gamma numbers are always one or bigger. So the gamma number tells us the uh, new dimensions, the new length of the spacecraft. This is the speed 2.2 times 10 to the 8. Uh, perhaps you've seen the other video that had this value, but work it out yourself. Gamma is 1.471 as a value. So how do we calculate the new length? Well, it's not too complicated. The new length is the length at rest, 55 meters. That's in the direction of motion divided by 1.471. The new length of the spacecraft is 37.4 meters. We're done. The so moving lengths are shorter by the factor of gamma. Moving lengths are shorter by the factor of gamma. That's what the observer on the Earth will measure. The observer in the spacecraft would measure 55 meters for the length of the spacecraft. But the observer on the Earth, watching this fast spacecraft go by, would just uh, measure 37.4 meters. That is the length of the uh, fast-moving spacecraft. What will the value on the observer measure for the width of the spacecraft? How wide is the spacecraft? It's 10 meters when it's at rest with respect to the observer. What is the width when the spacecraft's moving at this high speed? And the answer is 10 meters. There is no length contraction perpendicular to the direction of motion. There is no length contraction perpendicular to the direction of motion. Length contraction only affects the dimension in the direction of motion. So there's no adjustment here. The width of the moving spacecraft is the same as the width of the spacecraft at rest on the Earth. Keep practicing and ask your instructor questions.